Hi, it's Greg here with another Vim screencast and uh, tonight I'm going to be talking about regular expressions. Regular expressions are super important for Vim users because we use them for a lot of things. Uh, obviously, we use them to search for matching strings in files, <clears throat> but we also use them to do substitutions. And given that we don't have multiple cursors, this is one of those tools in the toolkit that we can use to target multiple places in a file at the same time, even without multiple cursors. Uh, so I'm going to assume that you know what regular expressions are. And I'm just, I'm just going to try to touch on some things that I think are interesting uh, that I've made some notes of here and I'm going to go through to make sure that I don't overlook anything. Um, but I'm going to start by showing you this wiki page that I made uh, because I've been using regular expressions for a long time. But when I started using Vim, I was surprised by how different Vim's regular expressions were. Uh, I think it was either PHP or Perl about 15 years ago that I really started to use regular expressions. And, and since then I've used them in other languages like Ruby and JavaScript. And they're all pretty similar. Um, yet Vim's regular expressions are stubbornly different. And so some of the differences that uh, could trip you up, I've made some notes here on this wiki page uh, of gotchas that you can run into. So uh, characters like the star asterisk and the plus sign are fundamental to regular expressions, yet in Vim they are treated differently. So star means what you think it means. It means zero or more instances of the previous atom. Uh, and it works as you would think. Plus doesn't though, unless it's escaped. Uh, when it's escaped with a backslash, it means one or more of the previous. Um, things get a little bit crazier though when you come to uh, curly brackets and normal parents because if you want curly brackets to have their special meaning, you only have to escape the opening curly bracket. But if you want parents to have a special meaning of capturing a subgroup, then you need to escape both parents. Uh, and so this kind of thing is maddening. And, and that is why it is often recommended that you use so-called very magic mode in your regular expressions. That basically means every character that can be interpreted as special will be, even if you don't escape it. And using very magic makes Vim regular expressions go a substantial way towards looking like Perl compatible regular expressions, which is probably the ones that you're familiar with. Um, you can also turn off very magic, but I've never needed to do that. I don't know why you would want to do that. Um, and so, uh, as I said, this will make your regular expressions behave in a fairly predictable way. So just to come up with some, you know, very obvious example, um, you see here, I've got forward slash to initiate a search and then backslash V to turn on very magic mode. Uh, if I wanted to find the word everything, which happens to be on the line where I am right now, I could do something like E and then put the VR in brackets and then Y, and that would have the effect of capturing the, the VR. Without very magic, you'll see that it didn't match anything because it was looking for literal parents, which of course aren't there. Um, so that's a fairly contrived example. Another uh, thing that is I find myself wanting to do all the time is match on word boundaries. Uh, so every, you see that I didn't find every because Y is not at a word boundary. But if I move to the end there and add thing, then it suddenly matches. Uh, in Perl compatible regular expressions, you would use backslash B at that place at the word boundary to make it a word boundary. It doesn't work in Vim. So unfortunately, yeah, you do have to remember this uh, angle bracket or greater than less than convention to, to match on word boundaries. Other than that, though, very magic usually does pretty much what I want. And so a fairly common recommendation is to set up a mapping such that when you hit slash, you don't just get a slash, you get slash backslash V and that way you're automatically in very magic mode. It's kind of unfortunate that you can't tell Vim to be in very magic mode all the time. You can tell it to be in magic mode all the time. And that's in the docs. Uh, it, it makes most of the characters special without escaping, but I, I kind of consider it to be pretty useless because if you have a range of choices where on one end you've got very magic behavior, which is desirable, and on the other end, you've got not at all magic behavior, which is not desirable. Why would you ever pick the middle one, which is somewhat desirable, somewhat undesirable? I don't know. Um, so you could turn magic on, but it's kind of pointless to do so. So that is pretty common table stakes, I think, for um, knowing and using Vim regular expressions. So what I'm going to do is 
stop this one here and in the next couple of segments I'm going to go into more depth about a couple of things that I use a lot, uh, namely um, look ahead and look behind and case manipulation tricks. So I'll be back in a sec with that.